What's up, guys? This is Coach Daniel. Most people know what to do in their head and understand table tennis technique. But the question is, does your body know? Can your body execute what you know of? So it's about proprioception, the sense you may know and perceive and what your body is doing. Sometimes it's hard to see what you're doing, so you need a coach who can see you what you're doing and correct it. Also, watching yourself will help you understand the difference between your thoughts and actual movements. It will help you visualize your technique to fix because now you know what you're actually doing when you watch yourself. So I'll watch a lesson together and explain as much as I can to help you improve. Let's get to it. Road to Pro. So his forehand drive is pretty solid. He has a good brush on the ball. Um, I would say a little bit distant from the table. Um, the distance from the table, there is still, still some space. Um, at his level, I, I mean, of course you can have some distance when you're a beginner, but um, he's pretty consistent. And at this point, if he wants to improve his forehand drive, then it's better for him to stand actually really, really close to the table. And also when you stand close, you can actually catch it a little bit sooner. Right now, um, he's, he is trying to catch at the top, but I think he can, um, he can try to hit it even sooner. Another thing is his angle is a little bit close to start with. Here, if you see it, it's pretty good angle. Right now, his his shot has a um, little bit too much brush to start with. Forehand drive, uh, you don't need to brush too much. You need top spin a little bit, but basically, you want to feel um, that you're hitting the ball forward, maybe forward, then to go upwards. And of, obviously, if you close the pedal, then you have to go up to hit the ball over the net. So uh, it's always good to open a lot and then being able to go forward as you hit. And also, if you stand close to the table, it helps because um, you're catching the ball when it's rising and then the ball still has good energy to bounce back this way. See, if you're catching the ball when it's um, at the top, the good thing is it has energy and you have the best angle to hit it over the net. But usually when you think about hitting at the top, what actually happens is you're hitting it when it's falling. And then when it starts to fall, when you hit, the ball tends to go this way. So you need extra energy to go actually up and forward. Um, so if you catch when it's kind of rising, then it's easier for you to hit it with the open angle and go forward because the ball naturally already is going this direction. So your, your swing and shot can become more efficient when you're doing a full hand drive. So here he's doing a um, different drill. Right now he's not just staying still. Right now he's staying close to the table. And then he hits three times. One, two, three. And he hits uh, three uh, from medium distance. But both um, position was too far. So stay close, hit one, two, three, and then just small step back. Just give slight difference timing and uh, positioning to the ball is enough. It's, it's about micro control. So this drill helps him to um, not only timing the perfect contact point, but also understand how much power he needs to transfer into the ball to make the ball uh, or land the ball in the same place. And always you want to use uh, more body than more arm. Right now his uh, body and arm ratio is about like uh, 2 to 8. He, he does use his core, he does use his body, uh, but compared to his swing size, his swing size from here to here, that's uh, pretty big. And the, how much he used his hip is uh, a little bit small. I mean, the compact is better, but it has to a little bit match with the swing size. Then it, your, your swing can become more efficient. 
So overall, his forehand drive is very consistent. Um, from here, what he can do is a little bit more focused on uh, using the body a little bit more, even though it's a simple technique. And also a little bit open the pedal to go forward, um, then to go up to hit the ball. And another thing would be uh, by that, being able to catch the ball a little bit sooner uh, will be um, some points that he can improve on for his forehand drive.